Right alongside, I'm here with Ellie from Black Mountain Bikes and uh, he was telling me about his Krampus that he uh, got quite a while ago. What, uh, <laughs> what's your experience been like with the uh, Krampus, Ellie? Uh, it's a good bike. I think it's where the industry needed to evolve at some point, you know, uh, as far as wheel size and traction, geometry. It's a, it's a nice geometry. Uh, I think it's a lot of custom fabricators, they have nailed it that geometry a long time ago or they're just evolving it too now with the dropout system and you know the crazy ways of manipulating you know tubing and materials are really cool they're coming along with stuff like that but it's a uh, it's a nice ride i think it's a good climber it's a good all-arounder you can transform it you can even do it tri style you know you can... <laughs> No, it's a ripper, you know, I think it's a trail bike dedicated. I think it's a yep. good bike for downhills and, you know, all around, throw it around, switch backs, tight stuff. You need to develop some sort of, uh, you know, communication with the bike at some point, just like any other bike. Yep. I think you should need, you just need to like get to know it and, and, and you can become one, you know, and, and kill it, you know. The, the, right climb anything or shred down anything uh, it flows through the rocks uh, you can lower the pressure for the sand and snow riding yeah. really low you can be this is tubeless uh, you know we can do it tubeless uh, it's, it's a great way you know of having it in setup you don't get a lot of flats if you keep your maintenance schedules and and it's just the basic pretty much uh, thing to do you know when you have the tubeless you can want to keep riding yeah and have you have you always had it set up this way pretty much since uh you got it in in uh 2012 right is that uh, right about 13 okay uh, 2012 uh, the 2013 the beginning of 2013 yeah yeah, yeah. um that was when i i got it so you've had it about yeah. three years now so you, three years you're yeah. kind of one of the Almost. yeah getting there one it, of the first ones to get it uh by i rode a uh, fat reeb at the beginning uh -huh. you know 29er with a 29er single speed belt drive yeah very set up kind of like how reeb does their bikes or they used to you know the very beginning uh, we then you know put gears on some of the fat bikes uh, 29 style and then I bought a Surly later on because I think the frame was a good good and then the ability to make it single speed uh, it's a great great bike I think for that have you had it set up single speed or have you had it set up with this drivetrain pretty much the whole time oh no I've been changing it you know, yeah like it's, it's not I ride it I rode it stock and then I've been changing it little by little I put single speed with an endless cog yeah uh, you know 32 20 yeah that's where uh, i've been riding it's a little tough at some point sure sometimes i, I will wish i can spin a little more you know like it's all it's uh it's, you're just getting old you know yeah <laughs> that's strong i hear you uh, a little stronger yeah but it's yeah it is it is a good bike uh, i'm gonna change the handlebar soon I, yeah i'm about to change them up uh I'm that's change that out that's the wide whammy bar is that right the whammies yeah the original yeah you know, that's what it, it was spec the bike with that is such a wide bar. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a nice, nice, uh, I'm very happy with your setup, very happy. Um, personalized a little bit, the shifter here, where, you know, there is the, my initials is ER, so there is the XDR, but this uh -huh. is just ER, and I just put Sharpie there, you know, the ER of the shifter. <laughs> I put uh, some uh, nice. duct tape, you know, duct tape for... Yeah. For AC, you know, I took the <laughs> uh, you know the indicator out and and just put it in there. Yeah, nice. And I put an XT with XDR uh, brakes, sponsored yeah. by Black Mountain Bicycles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's it's awesome. It's a good bike. Yeah. Was well, there anything that you're planning on changing besides the uh, handlebar? Have you thought about a suspension fork or any other uh, changes that you would make? I do have a suspension fork uh, that I can't wait to put it on. That yeah. I have seen people in Northern California, the guys from Cycle Monkey, they uh -huh. they done uh, a Krampus roll off with a Maverick fork, and I have a Maverick nice. fork from previous bikes, you know. And I I, I have 
a single crown and a dual crown. So, yeah. Sweet. It, it just needs to, I need to build a wheel. I haven't done that. It's hard to come up with the hubs. No, I know. The hubs are, are tough. And King has an availability, but you know, I don't have the money. Yeah. I will make a foundation for the King Hub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a Kickstarter for your King Hub, right? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, man, it's great talking with you, Ellie. Uh, hi, and you, uh, yeah, thanks so cool much. Uh, I'll probably be talking with you again about uh, about how, awesome. it, how it's going after you uh, have some time with a suspension fork or any other changes. So, yeah, some other wheels, maybe, yeah. you know. Uh, yeah, there's some other wheels that will be good. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm running the uh, Velocity Blunt 35s on my bike, so uh, it kind of rounds out the profile of the tires a little bit more. Yeah. But uh, they're they're a little bit lighter too. So, um, yeah. but it's it's fun experimenting, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. is. It is fun. You should see my single speed. Yeah, yeah like, we'll, we'll do another another chat. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Well, uh, that one. <laughs> I'll I'll be seeing you in there at Black.